Hi, I'm Deke. Welcome to Deke Pod, my series of once every other weekly videos on computer graphics and digital imaging. This is my chance to talk to you, and I do mean you, without the man coming between us saying, you work for me, Deke, I own this student-teacher relationship. One dude can't own another dude. That's called slavery. Jerks. So last episode, you may recall, I was inexplicably obsessed with a robot. See? I told you it was real. This time it's more the same. No robots, although based on the reactions I've got, I've uncovered a new fetish for some of you, which is truly disturbing. That is metal, you know. When I say more of the same, I mean stealth color correction. Last time we corrected an image in a lab color mode, no harm to the histogram. This time, same thing, but better. Because the effect we're gonna do, it's really super stinking easy. Thanks to this one command. A command that all the pundits, all the darling little digerati, they said was the suckiest command in the high holy world of image editing. Well, guess who's back? That very same command, brightness contrast. And it's not just good, it kills. Particularly in lab. What is lab? I mentioned the lab mode in the last episode, but I didn't really tell you what it is. That's because I didn't want you to wet yourself. Look upon it, my friends. This is the lab mode. Is that something you think you can handle? Because lab, it doesn't limit itself to blue or fuchsia or goldenrod. It lets you create imaginary colors, like galactic falafel or sinister pine cone or midnight laser beam. Colors that, if you actually saw them, would burn your eyes out. I'm just joking. Not about imaginary colors. Imaginary lab colors are very real, but they won't hurt your eyes. And lab's not that hard, really. You should embrace lab. Why? Because it was made for you. You're a human being, right? Well, then yes, you. You know the other color modes? RGB, CMYK? You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? You know RGB. You use it all the time. Yes, you do. You got a digital camera? You got a TV set? Then you know RGB. Red, green, blue, the primary colors of light. Come on. But look. RGB, it's a machine construct. Remember the robot? Robots see in RGB. They take little robot naps in RGB. They dream of electric sheep in RGB. Whereas you, you see in lab. When Richard Sewell Hunter came up with lab in 1948, when La Commission Internationale de la Courage, or CIE, decided they made lab in 28 years later, the whole point of lab was to describe colors in the same way our eyes see color. Our eyes, not robot eyes, ours, human. You, human, do not fear lab, for lab is human. Lab loves human. Human loves lab. The most bucolic backyard ever. So anyway, lab, freaky color space, whatever. But really, what you can do with it, that's what counts, right? And what you can do with it is a lot. Take this picture here. It's my very own backyard. I'm in my office, inside my office, shooting through a window. Not surprisingly, the photo doesn't look that great. I mean, it's bucolic, it's pastoral, but it's dull. Dull as suburban dirt dull. Okay, yes, it's a backyard. What do I expect? But my children play in this backyard. We have a dog, a few squirrels. They're not ours, they're wild squirrels, but they're kind of cute. We got a turtle. Takes a walk right there. There's a bridge running over a stream. Sometimes my boys and I, we take a pee right off that bridge into that stream, a stream that eventually irrigates some farmland. That's how our pea turns into carrots, tomatoes, and other produce. That kind of transformation, that's kind of magical. And it happens right there in my backyard. That's why this photograph should look better than this. Better color requires a little effort. Okay, so here's the technique. Here's how to fix my backyard. Maybe yours too. Open the image, convert it to lab. That just changes the color space. To fix the colors, choose this. We'll skip the lightness channel for now and compress the A and B channels. Let's add some yellow, just the tiniest bit of green. Just that little bit makes a difference. The wood looks a little radioactive, so let's fix that with these sliders here. One minute later, maybe two, we got ourselves some better colors. Better contrast is brain dead simple. Okay, that's cool, but here's the part I really want to show you. We're going to fix the brightness and contrast of this image by choosing, you know it, brightness contrast. But here's the thing, for the first 112 years Photoshop was on the market, this was the worst command in the program. Honestly, the command name should have been hurt me. Now it's so great, I'm thinking it and that robot to make some beautiful babies. Do this, do this, just affects the lightness channel, the colors go unscathed. Look at that, genius! A lovely backyard fit for a family gathering with a nice fresh salad. Conclusion. Then I do some other stuff. I sharpen the image, I resolve the chromatic aberrations. You gotta do that, they're aberrations for crap's sake. I high pass for clarity, I absolutely road rage on the color noise. Then I give it a panoramic crop, which is all my way of saying I dominate the image and it bends to my will like my eager pixel-based supplicant. I know, 
you're thinking, wait, that's not fair. You can't just race through all that last stuff. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and or sir. Mm -mm, this is me talking. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's all part of the plan. I have plans for you. You just sit back, relax. See, this is Deekpod. And at Deekpod, I urge you to enjoy. If you grow restless as well, you might. Check out my books at deek.oreilly.com. Or check out my videos at lynda.com slash deek. Or go to d-e-k-e dot c-o-m. Because it's T-H-E-R-E -E that this thing you're watching and that thing you are become as one. In the meantime, stay tuned for more videos. I have lots more eager juggernauts to satisfy your creative Vishnu here at Deekpod.